as you observe your child, you are wondering, you know, what's what's going on? Why does the movement look awkward, weird? Is, is my child okay? For those that have been following movement lesson for some time, uh, you have more of a guidance of like, okay, things aren't okay. I don't have optimal development. What can I do to work with this at home? And how can I optimize my child's development and give them a new developmental experience? And at the same time, as you come and you learn ways to have clinic success at home through our support program, the Fast Start Support Program, you still question like, what, what am I looking for? Even as I do a movement lesson. And I found that uh, I, it, it's important for you to understand the difference between optimal and non-optimal development. And it will really help you um, gain more confidence in what you're doing at home. And just again, give you more of an idea of what you're looking for. And so as we look at optimal development, what is optimal development? When optimal development is happening in the body, as you observe your child, things look balanced, the equal, um, the movement looks easy, smooth, neutral, and natural. It looks coordinated. Um, you may have a question of, of worry, but you tend to forget about it because your child is just on their merry way to development. And, and you just see easy cognitive processing. I have a two-year-old with global delays and, um, a one-year-old and the therapist will come in and try to show my two-year-old how to do stuff. And she kind of doesn't get it. And the one-year-old will just come over and be like, oh, you want this cup in here? Let me do that. Oh, you want me to do this? Let me do that. Like the, the cognitive processing is so easy where it's, it's just really difficult for my two-year-old. And so you really see a drastic difference between optimal and non-optimal development. But looking at what is non-optimal development, that is the whole reason why you're here at Movement Lesson. You can see that non-optimal development is happening. Things look unbalanced, unequal, slow, awkward. Your child is stiff, floppy, and coordinated. Uh, you may get the comment of, uh, you know, I just, you have a lazy baby, or you, you believe that you have a lazy baby, um, or they're overly fussy. I mean, my two-year-old that I just mentioned, she cried all the time, all the time. And I, that was my biggest complaint to my pediatrician. And I said, like, it's shrieking, like it's for hours. And they're just like, oh, well, some babies are fussy. And I'm just like, this is not normal. I, I, I have at that time, I had five other kids, like it, it's not normal. And, and it was really hard at home to deal with that. Um, the, the movement just is, is difficult. I mean, I was doing movement lesson with my two-year-old and like, I should have had a super baby and the development was still so difficult. And so I knew non-optimal development was happening in the system. I knew optimal optimization was happening because she was, she was getting into movements that she wouldn't otherwise movements were becoming easier but they were still really difficult. And so that was an indicator to me of like, okay, like I'm having success, but I still really need to work with these skills. And so uh, there's just things that, that because our eyes are so powerful, like we can tell when something's off, even when others can't, especially as, as mothers and we're involved with our kids all the time. Um, and so, you know, your question is, is what do you do about it? And that's what you're here to learn about and uh, learn how to be proactive here at Movement Lesson is how to optimize the system, how to create optimal development in your child so that movements become easier, more balanced, uh, more coordinated. Now, is it going to be an overnight fix? Like, no, we all, we all want an overnight fix to our kids. At the same time, the situations are going to vary as far as like, there there are some fixes for uh, some some kids and and for for other kids it's we just need to keep optimizing the system so so they're getting the experience of optimal development and movement is becoming easier and more smooth uh, they they don't have to think about it as much um they're more of in a neutral state versus really stiff or really floppy um and that cognitive processing becomes a, a lot easier um, so as you're, as you're questioning when you're doing movement lesson, you know, am I doing it right? What am I looking for? You're, you're looking for 
easier movement to occur. When you, when Michelle comes and works on a kid, she says, you know, if the movement feels good, I know I'm getting into optimal movement. I'm, I'm giving this child optimal experiences. And so that's what we want to help you understand at home is how to identify those things at home. And so make sure you get in our fast start support program and learn development from the beginning. You get a, a movement review from Michelle or another practitioner and they say, go do X, Y, Z courses. You go do those courses and then you go start at the beginning of development and you just start taking your child through the process of development so that an optimization process can start happening in their system and they can start learning how to build their movements and milestones on top of each other so they have optimal development. Check the description for a link to our Fast Start Support Program. You'll get 60 days free to just try it out. And you just start at the beginning of development. Start at sleeping and lying down if your child's older and, and you're like, well, my kid's walking and on like these milestones all repeat on each other and, and, and to get higher milestones, you got to work on the foundations and, and make the foundation stronger and, and they all build on each other. So sleeping and lying down, it, that, that's working towards walking. That's working towards much more advanced skills as, as your child is growing. And so don't think just because your child is older, like oh, I've missed these skills and I, I, I don't need them. Like you want higher skills. You always have to go back to the foundations. You always have to go back to the basics. And so just hop in there. Uh, we have a practitioner there that's helping you. So you got the online support with the Facebook group as you have live evaluations with Michelle and then just uh, me in the background helping you with clinic success at home and other practitioners as we get them to come on board and work with you. Um, we, we don't want non-optimal development in your child. We want to switch them from non-optimal to optimal developing happening in the system so that they uh, can have just a greater future and, and more uh, experiences that wouldn't otherwise happen. So if you have any questions, comment below, and we will be glad to help you with your questions. Thanks.